President George H.W. Bush signed the Americans with Disabilities Act nearly 30 years ago. Here's Dan Rather introducing Leslie Stahl's CBS Evening News report from that historic day. Landmark legislation extending civil rights protection to millions of Americans with disabilities was signed into law today. The law will have wide-ranging impact on Americans both with and without disabilities. Leslie Stahl reports. They came in wheelchairs with canes and crutches and hearing aids. They came to the White House, 3,000 of the nation's 43 million handicapped, to celebrate the signing of a new civil rights bill. This act is powerful in its simplicity. It will ensure that people with disabilities are given the basic guarantees for which they have worked so long and so hard. Independence, freedom of choice, control of their lives. Worried about today's blazing sun, the White House considered moving the ceremony indoors. But organizations here protested, complaining that assumed the disabled were different, couldn't take the heat just the kind of discrimination the law bans. So President Bush signed the law outdoors. He was thrown off guard when he gave his pen to the Reverend Harold Wilkie. The law bans discrimination in the workplace and assures access to hotels and public transportation. It defines the disabled as anyone with a mental or physical impairment, including AIDS. People are afraid of what they don't know. This way, they'll get to know us and maybe not be quite as afraid anymore. It changes my life in terms of knowing that I finally have the rights I've always believed I had. For many here, it was a day of overwhelming emotion. We cried and cried. Hey! We did it. We did it. No, we did it. We did it. Oh, God. Businesses complain that the new law will be too costly. But the president said it will ensure companies a tremendous pool of workers who will bring loyalty and low turnover. And he asked, give them a chance to prove themselves. It's our Declaration of Independence Day. Leslie Stahl, CBS News, the White House. And one of the lawmakers who championed the law joins me now from Washington, former Democratic Congressman Tony Coelho. He represented California's 15th district and was also a House Majority Whip. So, Tony, you work closely with President George H.W. Bush on this bipartisan bill. How did your unlikely alliance come to be? Well, uh, I was very involved. I have epilepsy, and so I was very involved in disability issues and realized that something needed to be done because we didn't have our basic rights um, and started working on the legislation. Um, I met him basically uh, through those efforts, through the uh, disability council that they had, and uh, got to know him. He liked that, what I was trying to get done. Uh, there have been a grassroots efforts for several years uh, in trying to get something accomplished. It really started out in University of California at Berkeley with the activists there, started the whole movement. And, uh, and we had then advocates all over the country working on it. And that's when I started with it and got to know him. And then we became good friends, and uh, I learned to love and respect him. How did the president work when he had disagreements with you? How did he make that work? Well, he, he wasn't shy on what he felt, but he also realized that it's, it's fine for people to have disagreements. It's fine to have different points of view. But ultimately, you need to get something done. And that was his attitude. Um, he was, you know, people forget that he was uh, a tough uh, politician. He was partisan. He was chairman of the Na Republican National Committee. But he always realized that you had to do something for the American people, because after all, that's what we were there for. Mm -hmm. And so we would come together. And so there were a lot of uh, situations as the majority whip where uh, we came together to resolve issues. And President Bush uh, never, he, he didn't want to attack individuals. He, he didn't uh, uh, think of really tearing anybody down. He was more interested, how do we get to a resolution? How do we get there? And he did it. Uh, he, I, I've never heard him uh, raise his voice. Uh, he was uh, authoritative, though, but I never heard him raise his voice. He was a very gentle person, a strong leader, but a very gentle person. You released a statement and in part saying that passing the ADA was not without some controversies. I want to play for you what the president had to say the day he signed the legislation. 
Democrats and Republicans as well, I salute you. And on your behalf, as well as the behalf of this entire country, I now lift my pen to sign this Americans with Disability Act and say, let the shameful wall of exclusion finally come tumbling down. The shameful wall of exclusion. What were the barriers that you had to work it out with him? Well, he, he was very supportive. He, the business community was very negative and talking about the cost and of, of implementing it. Uh, some of the leadership in the House, I was Democrat, and some of the Democratic leadership thought that this bill would be too costly and would cause a great deal of problems and so forth. And basically, when it was assigned, it got assigned to five different committees, about 12 different subcommittees. That's very unusual. But it was whole, a whole effort to slow it down and so forth. Uh, the, but the president was uh, very uh, direct in regards to uh, Republicans and that he this is something that he wanted resolved. He didn't get in the middle of you got to do this, you got to do that. He just felt that it was important that those of us with disabilities had basically the same rights as anybody else and the law needed to protect us. At that point, uh, you could get fired from a job uh, if you had a disability and they would say they were firing you because of the disability. Or you could be denied employment by specifically saying you have a disability and I want to hire you. Uh, nothing illegal about that. You could get kicked out of a restaurant if you were blind and couldn't read uh, a menu. You could get kicked out of a uh, movie theater because you could be a fire hazard. All those things went on. Uh, and so the culture at the time was uh, different. Uh, in my particular case, uh, uh, the Catholic Church said that uh, because I had epilepsy, can law wouldn't let me become a priest. So all, we in our community suffered all these types of things for years and years. Um, and President Bush understood this and wanted to change. People don't appreciate that he had a three-year-old daughter who died of a disability. Two of his sons have disabilities. Um, so he has experienced for all those years uh, what it was like for individuals to have disabilities and what they went through. And he wanted to correct that. Tony, how critical do you think on? passing ADA will be for President George H.W. Bush's legacy? Well, I'll tell you a quick story. He, he doesn't like the word legacy, as you've heard. Mm -hmm. Um, and I was, uh, uh, I went to him when, when uh, W. Bush was uh, the president and the Americans with uh, Disabilities Act Amendments Act was being considered and um, the, was being held up in the White House. So I flew down to Houston to meet with, uh, with I call him Papa Bush and uh, he said, okay, where is it stuck? And I said, well, I am not told directly, but I've been told it's in the vice president's office. He said, well, let me handle that. So he calls his chief of staff in and says, uh, get me uh, the president's chief of staff. So make the call. He says, I just want all of you to know that uh, I don't like the L word, uh, but uh, this is very important to me. I really want to see uh, George get this done. I want it done. And so he got off, and, and I was concerned because the L word might mean liberal. And in <laughs> W's, W's administration, I thought, boy, I'm going to get hurt here. And so I said, Mr. President, uh, tell me, what is the L word? He said, oh, it's a legacy. I'm tired of people talking about my legacy. I'm, whoo. And I told him what I thought, and we laughed and so forth. Uh, but when I then saw him, there's a picture of me with him at a, at a wedding of his granddaughter. And, and he was he rolled in and in his wheelchair and he saw me and, and light lit up and so I went over and hugged him and so forth and he says, Just think. He said, I signed the ADA and here I am, now a user of it. Hmm. And we laughed and uh, it just it meant so much to me. But he was right that the ADA is really an insurance policy for those of you who don't have yes, a disability, exactly. and in case you do, the law protects you. Mm. Um, but he understood that. He, he, was, um, he was tremendous. Now, I don't know uh, if you know, but uh, his daughter wrote a biography of him, and he says in there that the ADA was one of the most significant things he did as President of the United States, and I think he meant that. Yeah, and we can all understand why. Tony Coelho, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.